Okay, fellow gold bugs and refining and recovery enthusiasts, um, one of the things that uh, they are very, or CM Hoke in her book is very specific about, and the book I'm referring to, of course, is uh, Refining Precious Metal Wastes, which is basically what I'm following in most of my uh, recovery and refining techniques. Uh, one of the things she's quite clear about, but is often overlooked and I definitely overlooked it um, at the start of doing all this is that she says very specifically to make sure that all of your um, AR solutions are crystal clear before you actually precipitate the gold and, and um, the importance of that was lost on me until I precipitated some gold in a cloudy AR solution and ended up with a really really ugly looking gold button at the end of the melt and uh, ever since then I've been I've been very you know I'll take an extra day of work to get a crystal clear solution if that's what it takes rather than uh, precipitate gold in a solution that's not crystal clear so on my right here we've got the solution I'm working with at the moment and it's looking quite good I'm going to bring it out oops okay so you'll see there not crystal clear um, it's it's looking a lot better though. This this has been through a, a, a few processes to try and clarify it. I don't want to lift up this one because it's got the filter currently in there, but it is much much clearer at this point. It's kind of hard to see through the glass. And the so the the two ways that you can or the two approaches that you can take to get a nice clear solution are number one is uh, decanting solutions. So. What you can do with your uh, cloudy AR solution is leave it for a day or so to settle, um, and a lot of the a lot of the fine powder that will make it through filters relatively easily will settle, and then you can very carefully decant you know one solution into a new into a different beaker, and um, add. So if we assume that you're able to decant 90% of the stuff you want and leave pretty much everything that you don't want behind. That means that in the first decanting you get 90%. If you then fill up with the same volume of distilled water, wait another day and decant again, you're going to get another 9%. And by the time you've done it three times, you've pretty much got 99% of the stuff you wanted. The, the problem with that plan is that you end up with three times the uh, solution, which then has to be evaporated down or, or dealt with otherwise. Uh, might not be a problem when you're doing... Um, AR, especially if it's already had the nitric removed, because you want to add water anyway uh, before you precipitate the gold, because there has to be water in the like a lot of water in the solution for the sodium metabisulfite to uh, to work prop, you know, to react with the with the hydrochloric acid and give you the sulfur dioxide you want. So the the second step, um, which is or the second phase of clearing up, or a different approach to clearing up your solutions, is what I'm basically doing here. And uh, what I am doing is I'm using the same, I've got three coffee filters here, two of the same type and one that is a different brand. And um, I am repeatedly filtering the solution from one vessel to the next using the same set of coffee filters. And what happens is the, the big holes in the coffee filter get plugged first with the big particles, um, but the small particles make it through the filter, which is, which is in here, which is still cloudy. So that, those are the small particles. But by the time you've done it two or three times, the, the holes are mostly plugged with the small particles as well. And it's going very slow, as you can see, for a relatively clean AR solution to filter one drop at a time like that. Um, it's going quite slow. And as you can see in the filter there, it is catching a lot of that really fine stuff now. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the approach I would follow here. Uh, also, another thing that's a really good idea before you bother to do any of this is to um, cool that solution because uh, cold solutions will hold fewer salts in solution. So you might as well filter the um, the salts out while you're busy doing this. Um, yeah, so that's my little tip of the day. Hopefully that was uh, useful to someone. And that's how I clear up my AR solutions to make sure they are uh, crystal clear before I precipitate the gold.